I'm your I'm Lindsay. I'm Baroness. I'm a teacher. And I'm an anti-bullying ambassador. very lucky that we have had access uh, to the Anti-Bullying Ambassadors Programme through funding by the Ankelon Foundation. We get involved in, in, in many activities to do with worthy causes and we thought an anti-bullying campaign was a particularly good one. I, I, can, I can tell you a long time ago I was bullied myself so, so I know how people feel as a result of it. And, then, and that was before the sophistication of uh, mobile phones and all the other things. Each class in our school have anti-bullying ambassadors. Um, I feel it's very important that the whole school are involved in um, understanding what actu bullying actually is. The best thing about being an anti-bullying ambassador is if anyone's getting bullied, you can help them and then make them more happy and make um, school a better place for them. Being an anti-bullying ambassador means that we can help other people and make sure that they're not getting bullied. I got bullied a lot and like, um, well, I didn't like it because they used to come up and like punch me and call me names and swear at me. One day they chased me into the toilets and I actually had to lock the door and even then they were trying to climb in and it was really scary and this had a really big impact on my diabetes and I had to go into hospital for four days. I felt like I couldn't trust anybody and I felt sad whenever I went to school. I didn't want to go to school anymore. The only person that was allowed to like hit me or anything is like in well, the tap for chasing games or my mum if I'm being punished. Round Tower have anti-bullying ambassadors and that makes me feel safer than I was in my last school because you can tell them anything. Going to Round Tower, now I feel like I belong in school and it's somewhere that I can go to actually do work and not get bullied. One of my friends, Finley, is a bullying ambassador and um, he could like help me out a lot if I get bullied, which I'm which will happen. At the Anti-Bullying Ambassador Training, we learned that it's always important to have someone to talk to if there's a problem in or outside of school. We asked the whole school to draw their own hand and write five people they'd go to if they had a problem. We made a heart of kindness to show all the um, kind acts that go around in our school. When I fell down, one of my friends helped me. I made a get well card for Mrs. Duggan. When my mum says she's proud of me, I feel proud. When I was a child, I was actually bullied myself in school and I found it very difficult. It makes you feel worthless and that nobody cares. And it can, uh, the, the way things are now, it can take a very bad turn if it's not dealt with properly. It's a very big issue and people that haven't been bullied probably don't realise how, how hurtful and how it, to, and even into your adult life, it affects you deeply. You know, a school is meant to be fun, it's meant to be a safe place. And I think every child deserves the right to come to school, get educated and have fun, because that's what it's all about. I think if we would have had the same sort of support network, you know, it wouldn't have been as bad for me. Um, teachers are busy, they have a lot to do, they don't have the time or resources to, to help in the way that they can. So I think peer relationships are very, very important within school. And if they would have had a programme like this when I was at school, I think things would be very different. Um, I was like, well, what do you do in the playground? And she gave me an example. She says that one of um, the wee boys that she's very fond of, his brain works differently. differently. And she was saying that he was sitting on his own. I came over and tapped her on the shoulder and goes, I have nobody to play with. And my friends won't play with me. And her words were like, he does think differently, but he deserves to have wee friends too, mommy. So she went over to the wee crowd and explained them. The wee crowd, you know, his brain works differently. You know, be fair, he, he deserves to play as well. So she got him in playing and all with the wee group. Which I was so proud of her, I thought that was amazing. This friendship bench is a place where everybody can talk and feel safe. 
When I see the empty bully ambassadors, it makes it feel safer. Yeah. I think that schools should definitely should uh, take part in this programme. Um, it enables um, children's confidence to develop. It also develops skills such as self-management, problem solving, decision making. The confidence and the responsibility that it's given her as well. You know, she now feels so proud and she walks taller. It sounds strange, she walks taller. She knows that, um, that she's completely valuable, if you understand. Um, the change in her is unbelievable. It's, it's a lovely change, it's lovely to see. Skills she has learnt in training has transferred into the house because she would have an older sister, or older sister Amelie and her would have would have had the odd few tiffs, but I've noticed now that the tiffs are less and she's actually more emotionally intelligent and slightly more mature than her older sister. We're about to do a performance for an anti bone assembly in front of the whole school. We're really excited. <laughs> them it just brightens my day. Yeah I always wanted to be one but I never got the chance so I'll try and be one next year. You got it in you. Thanks. I believe that um, every school should have anti-bullying ambassadors. It's been a great program. Um, our children have really enjoyed it. Our staff can see a difference in the playground and it's um, been a very positive experience for everyone involved. I just want to say thank you for bringing it to the school and thank you to the school for for taking the steps to, to bring it in and initiate it because um, it is a big problem and I think these children are our future, as the song goes.